Thank you for joining us today, Ulrich. So how did ABB perform in the fourth quarter and how in 2015 overall? ABB delivered increased profitability in challenging times in 2015. We showed clearly that our next level strategy is yielding positive results for the group. Despite a very difficult market out there in many segments, we were able to deliver steady and stable orders and revenue for the full year. We increased our operational margin and demonstrated that execution strength is really one of the hallmarks of ABB. The turnaround of power systems and the arrival of that division back in the margin bandwidth, in the target margin bandwidth in the fourth quarter is another key achievement on the execution side. We are humming on all cylinders on the cost reduction side. We have accelerated the cost and the cash improvement programs and we delivered. We have about 1.2 billion of cost savings on the cost of goods sold through supply chain management and quality operational excellence. And we are well on track with our white color productivity program. On the cash side, we were able to increase the operational cash flow and the free cash flow in a significant way. And cash is a very important health indicator for a business. We delivered. Operational cash is up 9%. Free cash flow is up double digit for the year, which is a strong signal that all teams have worked strongly together to realize the cash opportunities in ABB. The earnings per share, whilst not achieving the bandwidth of the target that we have in average over the next years, we delivered a healthy 5% operational earnings increase, resulted mainly from the execution improvement measures. The growth did not yield enough results, but execution did. On the cash return on investment, we are in the mid-teen bandwidth that we have given ourselves as a target. So altogether in 2015, we increased our profitability in challenging times. But we also increased the value to our shareholders. We delivered an all-time high in shareholder returns. We progressed on our share buyback. And based on the solid performance, especially on the cash side in 2015, the board of directors proposes the seventh consecutive dividend increase to our shareholders. What were some of the year's highlights? If you look at the most important area, it's always our customer. And I think on the customer side, we've increased our net promoter score now to 48%, which is in the top quartile of the industry in terms of performance. And whilst we will never give up our improvement opportunities, I would like to thank everybody to really contribute for that significant improvement. That was not only visible on the NPS side, but also in some very strong orders. In the fourth quarter, for example, we got a major HVDC upgrade order in the US. We also got strong orders in the oil and gas sector, despite a dampened environment there. For example, doing the control, the telecommunications and the overall integration of a large pipeline in Europe, a large order that we won here. On the revenue side, the team did a good job executing well for our customers. And on the profitability side, I think the turnaround of power systems, the successful transition from a really difficult phase in a more prospering phase is a key highlight of this business. The cash performance altogether, the arrival of the new cash culture that we want to create and that we are on the way creating in ABB is yielding some very good results. If you take what comes out of our pie approach on penetration, innovation and expansion, on the penetration side, take for example what the China team delivered. We went west in China in 2015 very forcefully and we got some very good growth out of that one. On the innovation side, the highlight of 2015 was definitely Yumi, our new revolutionary two-arm robot that works together with mankind in a completely different way than before. This innovation puts us at the forefront one more time in the robotic space. It's a market leading innovation and the customer acceptance is very, very positive. So altogether, some good top line and customer oriented momentum, good improvement on the execution side, both on the cash and the cost side. Can you tell us more about the actions ABB is taking to implement the next level strategy? We really aim to deliver more than 400 million run rate savings in 2016 on a cross basis out of that program alone. We are also driving our cash culture going forward and we will make progress on our target of taking more than 2 billion out of the working capital altogether. 
On the collaboration side, whilst we have created a good momentum of better collaboration, better opportunity realization across the teams, the rollout of Salesforce.com, for example, is going very well. And by the end of the second quarter, we will have more than 20,000 people on that system, enabling collaboration in a completely different way than before. So if you take the overall sentiment of the next level strategy, doing more, better, and together, we're making significant progress in all three focus areas. And looking ahead, what are your expectations for 2016? 2016 will be a year where the market continues to be difficult. We are facing headwinds, strong headwinds in certain market segments, whilst realizing the opportunities in some others. If you take the outlook in oil and gas, it's still pretty dampened. If you take the outlook in other segments, it's encouraging. If you take food and beverage, it will continue to grow. The 3C sector will continue to grow. So altogether, it will be a year where we need to fly on site, where we need to have a different approach to running the company. We really need to make sure at the same time we are growing wherever we can and we are adjusting the cost base in areas where we can't afford to continue in the same pace and the same resources that we have had before. So altogether, flying on site in a difficult market environment. Thank you very much. You're welcome.